Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install ZSH that is Z shell on your Ubuntu system. So let's get started. So here I'm uh, running a virtual box and I've installed Ubuntu 19.10. So as you can see here, so now uh, I'm just going to open the terminal. Okay, so here is the terminal. Okay, so now first of all, uh, we'll run uh, the update command. So sudo apt get update. Okay, so now that that's done, I'll just clear it and now uh, we are going to install the ZSH. So I'm going to write sudo apt get install ZSH enter and I'm going to type Y for yes. So it is going to install all the uh, packages that are required for uh, this Z shell. So by default, Ubuntu uses bash and we are going to replace that with this Z shell. So now, as you can see, it is completed the installation. So if you want to see which shell is running uh, right now on the system, then uh, you can do that using echo and then dollar shell so as you can see here uh, that bash is uh, running as uh, the default shell right now but we have installed zsh so uh, we'll replace it with this bash but before that let's configure uh, the zsh so uh, we'll just run it uh, by typing zsh and enter so the configuration will open so here we are going to go through uh, the configuration steps and we are going to configure the z shell and then we are going to make it the default one so first now let's go through the configuration so here it is written uh, to quit and do nothing then it is just going to quit and if you want to exit and create this uh, zshrc file and then if you want to go into the main menu and then if you want to populate this so there are different uh, steps given so we are going to select this one so i'm just going to type the number one so here is uh, the main menu so we are going to go through these uh, steps and then uh, we are going to save and exit and uh, it will create this file so right now if you select this then it is just going to be a blank file but we are going to uh, populate that file with these uh, configurations so first of all let's uh, go into the uh, first one so here uh, we are going to configuration the history so first uh, we are going to set how many lines that we want in our history of this shell so i'm going to type one and it says thousand so let's change it to two thousand and enter so as you can see it is now changed uh, so the thing is that it is set but it is not saved so we are going to save all these configurations at the end so now let's uh, move on to the second one uh, so we are not going to change anything here. So I'm just going to keep this as it is and Now the third one and here also I'm not going to change anything. So I'll keep this as it is and Now let's type this zero and return back to our uh, main menu Now this first one is completed now move on to the second one Here I'm just going to select the first one so this is also done now let's uh, go into the third one so if here uh, you want to set any default 
configuration uh, editors then you can do that so if i uh, type the number one then here by default this is set for uh, editing purpose so here if you want to set any other software as your default editor then you can do that from here so here i'm just going to keep the default so now uh, i'm just going to write e and go back and now the fourth step so here uh, we can configure this uh, features that the zsh provide so change a directory given path so yes i'm going to use it so i'm going to have to set it so i will type s and it is going to turn it on uh, if you type u then it is going to unset it that is it will turn it off so s so as you can see that there were these hash uh, sign here in front but now it has been removed so that's how it is uh, been set now uh, the next one is uh, use additional pattern matching feature i'm going to use this one as well so i'm going to set it then uh, the third one is append new history line instead of uh, overriding so i'm going to use this one as well so i'm going to set it then unmatched pattern cause an error then i'm going to use this as well okay now beep on error okay i'm not going to use this one but still we have to go inside and uh, type u and unset it so immediately report changes in the background uh, job status so i'm not going to use this so i'm going to unset it okay now uh, everything is uh, set but not saved so let's uh, return back to our main menu so as you can see here it says uh, unsaved changes so now we are going to save those changes so we are going to go through this step so i'm going to type zero and if you want to uh, start from the scratch and if you want to go into any other step also then you can type the number of that and go into that step and uh, if you don't want then you can just abort the whole thing by typing this letter a but we are going to save it so i'm going to type zero and it is uh, saved and as you can see the z shell is started here as well so this is uh, the z shell but uh, still we haven't set this as the default shell so if we return the default shell then it is going to still say bash so we have to change it so how we can change it is we have to type this a uh, simple command that is chsh that is change shell then uh, dash s so let me show you what that is so this dash s is uh, the new login shell for the user account so it is going to be set for uh, when you login again then it is going to be set as uh, the default shell so here uh, we have to type the path for this z shell so let me show you the path for this so here we have to uh, go into the root and then in the usr and here in bin and here we have to search for zsh okay so here zsh so here it is that uh, zsh file so we are just going to right click go into the properties and copy this okay let's paste it here and again slash zsh and that's it now enter and we have to type the password for this user and it's set so now 
if you uh, run this command then still it is going to show that the bash is uh, the default one because this is set for uh, the user that is going to log in now onwards so we have to log out of uh, this user and log back in and then it is going to uh, show that uh, zsh is uh, the default shell so let's log out i'm going to close the terminal and let's log out okay now let's log in with the same user okay so now i have logged back in and now let's open the terminal so it's a virtual machine so it is pretty slow okay so as you can see this is uh, different than the older one so now let's check it so i'm going to type echo shell and as you can see it says zsh so we have successfully installed zsh and set it as uh, the default shell in ubuntu so this is how uh, you can do that so that's it for this video and if you like this video then click on the thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel so that's it for this one and i will see you in the next one